Hi, as you all know, analytics in the cloud is really getting momentum right now. The number of possibilities, the easiness of setting up new BI initiatives, and also the low total cost of ownerships are three key reasons to start working with analytics in the cloud. The latest tooling also allows to have online connection to, for example, in-memory data sources or have direct online connections to other cloud applications, uh, which allow you to quickly get and generate the insights that you are looking for. On this page, I'm going to share a number of best practices with you, which I will primarily do by written communication, but mostly by video demonstrations. The tool that I'm going to use is SAP Business Objects Cloud, which is a key tool and one of the leading tools for running cloud analytics. Very impressive to Business Objects Cloud is the fact that it respects the closed loop portfolio, allowing to monitor or business intelligence to plan to uh, predict and uh, shortly from now also to work with risk data all in one tool whilst uh, even have the capability of collaborating or even doing agenda management. The topics that I will cover in this best practice page are based on three phases of creating cloud analytics content. The first phase that I'm going to talk about and share best practices with you is about modeling and data preparation. The second phase uh, or the second chapter that I'm going to use is all about visualizing um, cloud analytics content. So how to create graphs, how to do data blending, how to join information, how to do geospatial, what are the best tips and tricks. The third pillar that I will talk about is linked to the SAP Business Objects Cloud product itself and is about creating your own custom digital boardroom content. I'm really interested in what you think of the best practices that I share. So I'd encourage you to send any feedback either via, via the form on this webpage or send me an email to ivor.van.d.zend.sap.com. Enjoy.